This week's Parsha, Pharaoh tells Yosef, I had a dream, unlike Martin Luther King's dream of human character. He had a dream about cows and wheat plants, but he needed to know what it meant. And Yosef tells him, seven cows, fat cows indicate years of plenty, skinny cows, years of famine, we're going to get seven years of plenty, then seven years of famine. And the reason why God repeats it with the uh, seven stalks, fat stalks, and seven skinny stalks is because God is going to do it right away. In fact, all of a sudden, the wheat started sprouting out, making wheat seeds the, the, the thickness of a, of a kidney. And then... Yasef says, but now I want to tell you what to do about it. Appoint someone on the whole of Egypt to take care of all of the surplus. You're going to have a tremendous surplus. That surplus you should store in cities for the next seven years. And that surplus will serve as a buffer against any famine, not just for you, but for the rest of the nations that are around you, you're going to become the wealthiest, most powerful nation in the whole area. More than the Hittites, more than the Elamites, more than any other country, ancient country, because you will be the only one that has food. And they all will give their money and service to you. So appoint someone and he'll gather it all together and he'll essentially set the place up on wheels and make sure that everything is done properly. Now, Yosef was given the task of interpreting a dream. Where does Yosef get off and give Paro advice what he should do, especially this advice? Find somebody smart and understanding. <laughs> he knows he's smart and he's understanding. And essentially, he's, he's lobbying for the job. So not only is he giving advice, he's lobbying for it. For a job as chief advisor. Ah, this is, in some places, this would be a, a treasonous offense. Not treason but certainly offensive to his, to Pharaoh's advisors. So the answer, there are many answers, I'm sure, and I saw other answers, but Chaim's answer in Chaim's book, Engage in Thus and in Power, is as follows. Pharaoh says, Paro says, that the fat cows swallowed the skinny cow, the skinny cows swallowed the fat cows, and after they were swallowed, you saw no change in the skinny cows. They were just as skinny as before, horribly skinny. And then he has another dream: seven fat ears of corn growing up on one stalk. Fat ears of corn, then seven skinny ears of corn rising after, afterwards. The seven skinny co ears of corn swallowed the seven fat ears of corn. What's missing? That the skinny ears of corn look just as skinny as before. That's number one. Number two. A ear of corn, an ear of grain, each ear grows on one stalk. You will never find a wheat stalk, a wheat plant, a barley plant that will have several stalks, several ears of corn on it. Uh, you can have a corn plant that can have several ears of corn. But a wheat plant, there's only one 
handful of seeds on each stalk. So how is it that the seven fat ears of corn were on one stalk? Now, a stalk, a corner, a reed, is symbolic of wisdom. It says in the Talmud that anybody who sees reeds in a dream, Yitzapel l'chochma, shall look forward to having achieved great wisdom. Because it says, Kone, the, name, the word Kone, which is a reed, is also Kneya, acquiring. And in the book of Proverbs, it says, Knei Chochma, Knei Bino. Acquire wisdom, acquire understanding. The same word, Kone, Knei, means to acquire. The same word for, for read is used in acquiring wisdom and understanding. So, since the, the letters of a read are the same as the letters of acquisition of wisdom and understanding, when you have a read in a dream, it's symbolic of acquiring wisdom. So Yosef saw there was only one stalk, one read from which seven ears of corn come out of. That's a sign that the one reed was supposed to be in charge of all seven ears of corn, which represented seven crops. And that was in the dream telling Pharaoh, get a reed, get a wise and understanding person, because it says, K'nei chachma, k'nei bina, acquire wisdom, acquire understanding. So therefore, Yosef, who understood the meaning of dreams, the symbol of the reed is a symbol of wisdom and understanding. Since there is only one reed, you should appoint one person on all of the seven years of, of grain, of, of storing grain. And then, when the seven years of famine come and they swallow up the grain, they don't look as skinny as before because there will be grain and people will be able to have food to survive. Not just Egypt, but many nations as well. And so Yosef was not giving unsolicited advice. Yosef was interpreting the dream. the moral or the lesson there is is when there is a communication between God and man and people believed in the ancient world that dreams especially dreams for people in charge of things were by God's hand and every little detail of the dream is significant even though it says in chaloim beloi there is no dream without chaff, without things that are irrelevant. Nonetheless, when it's coming from God, when it is significant, then every detail is significant. And that's why Yosef didn't just give Paro advice. The advice was there in interpretation of the dream.